Let me tell you one truth. Dressing like a man is not a proof that his spirit has rested upon you. It's not by dressing. He will dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine forth. Second Kings chapter 2. Second Kings chapter 2. From verse 8. Maybe we'll start from verse 9. 9. From verse 9. This is a reflection of the current season of the church. This is a reflection of the current state and season of the church. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee. <laughs> Elijah says, Ask what I shall do for thee before I'm taken from you. If you look at his choice of words, it was communicative of the fact that he knows that he is limited as a man. Ask what I shall do for thee before. I am taken away from thee. Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Now, in all the things Elijah can do for Elisha, a double portion of his spirit is not part of what you can do. Amen. Amen. See, Elisha can easily say, if you can call me out in the presence of all the sons of the prophet and make a statement that I am the one to succeed you, I will be grateful. That's something Elijah can do. It is within his power. Elisha can ask for maybe any landed document he knows that out of the various prophetic adventures that Elijah had with different kings, there are different honorariums that came in. <laughs> so he can say, I don't know if that land that is by the river, if I can hold on to it. That's part of what he can do. You know what he asked for? He asked for something that is outside the jurisdiction of Elijah's control. You, you don't own your spirit. Even your own spirit is going to give account. How can somebody now say, let a double manifestation of that your spirit be upon me? So, Elijah said, what you have asked is a hard matter. It's a hard thing. Nevertheless, <laughs> if, please somebody say if. The, what, what, you are, what you are contending for might look large, it might look big. For some people, it might look impossible, but there's a condition, which means as long as there's a condition, it, it, it can happen. However, nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if you don't see me, it shall not be so. I want to share a bit on this matter today. You know, a lot of people, they don't know why they can sit down, even write down the dates. Oil is poured on their head. Dangerous proclamations are made from today. We give you this and that and that and this. And they leave the presence of God with joy that they have received. They don't know that matters that borders around transfer of ordinations, transfer of scepters, transfer of the anointing. 
it is not left to man to decide it. Man can say, I give you, but the heaven will not stamp it. It is, it is the realm that is the custodian of that same power. They are the one that will authenticate that transaction. You have asked, left for me as a man, I will give you. But this matter is above two of us. So he says, if you can see me. What does he mean by if you can see me? Why, why did he put this matter to sight? Why did he tie capacity to see spiritual transactions as the criteria to touch what you have asked for? He was telling Elisha, this will be the first time we will know whether you truly followed me. <laughs> because you, as a man, you can do eye service. As a man, you can dress as though you are righteous. But this is the first time you will be appraised by another audience, spirits. And, and the things they, they try, it's not appearance. They search the inward, the in, they, they try the reins. They check your thoughts. They check motive. They check, they, they check the reason why you are asking for what. You know, some, some of you will say, Lord, bless me. As you are talking about blessing, when they look at your heart, it's one black jeep and you, you stood in front of it like this with a khaki and you are doing the khaki like this. They now say, ah. <laughs> Lord, bless me. And they saw the faces of many people that have reigned at you. Many people that have looked down on you in one season of your... You arrange them in your heart like this. So as you are saying, bless me, there is, there is a version of you in your past that is still bleeding, hoping that one day you will return with like a triumphant entry. And then, as people are looking at you, 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 you now say, did I not tell you I'll, I'll make it in this life? <laughs> I, I, I saw one song. I saw one song. They, they sang it in, in, in Hausa. If, if they say, we'll no go make them. Zamu basu mamaki. If they say, Zamu basu you are, you are succeeding for yourself. The program of God is... is, is amen. amen. If the Jesus will not go marry. You see, is, is that pepper them kind of things? Pepper them. And God is, not, God is not interested in peppering anybody. Somebody come back and say, I'm just coming back from a conference in South Africa. So, so, so person laid his hands on me. The moment he laid the hands, this other one caught me when I want to fall and lay hand again. I know him. You don't know what I came back with. Watch him after two months. The reality around his life is a proof that the, the realm did not authenticate that transaction. You know the way you can send, you can send money from your own phone and they debited you, but the receiver has not received it yet. Let's talk now. Now, that's how there, there are incomplete transfers. Many times in the spirit. There was a debit in, in the meeting. They debited the... But, but when, when the team wanted to enter the account of the receiver, they now found some malpractice. So the money will hang for a while. So that's when you, you, you start going to the bank, to customer care. It's customer care you go to first. You'll be saying, but the person say he has sent it. <laughs> that the person say is that you go and stand in front of the sick because you knew the healing apostle to lay hands on you. So you now do your hand like this and say, out. Because that's how the man also did out. But you, as you say, out, the demon now slapped you. You know what I'm saying? The person say he has sent his customer care you are complaining to, customer care. Oh God, you who try men, show us mercy. Show us mercy. It is better that you fail in the appraisal of men and pass with spirits eh? than men give you all the accolade and with spirits you have no weight. Hi, it's a tragedy. You, are, you will be like a tree blossoming with leaf, but no fruit, no single fruit. <laughs> the best the best 
many people can touch is gesticulations and mannerisms. You look at them after a while. They, they begin to walk like the persons, dress like the persons, maybe sound like the person, pray like the person, but the signature of authority that is the real proof of transfer is never in their life. Never. If you can see me. That, that's, that's the title of my message this night. If you can see me. I know you are so comfortable to receive blueprints from your father and the Lord. I know you want, you, you want to stay like this quietly and hear me say uh, it is the month of so you, you want to travel? You now ask me that. Ah, sir, should I, should I travel? You, you will not go far that way. You will need to also have access to where I assess my, my, my information from. You too. Eh? You, will, you will tune your soul like a transistor radio. You will tune it until you hit that frequency. <laughs> the broadcast of Zion, for the sake of my illustration, Zion might be broadcasting in 90.9 and you, you are... You are in 10.0. You, although you are, you are listening to something, but it's not Zion's broadcast. If you must stumble on that frequency where God's counsel is lodged, you will tune your soul too. You will tune. It is the tuning process that is actually most of the activities that we have, we have laid out as a ministry. That without any spiritual warfare, you fast every Tuesday. The reason for the fasting is not, it's not because there's a tragedy. It's not because you are trying to fight somebody. It's, it's for the sake of tuning. So that you can be in tandem with the program of God part time. So that you too, you can hear from that realm. You can see the realm. If you can see. Him. See, in, if we carry that, that template and force it upon the operations of this current day, there will be, there will be many churches where transition will be considered a, a, a contraband. The operations and the actions that were carried out, the activities that were carried out during transition seasons. By transition, I mean the passing of baton. Huh? It, it, will be, it will be a malpractice. Because Elijah insisted that it, it will be the realm that would give you this thing. It's not me. It won't be because I love you. Oh, you are the one. You know how many people how many people lobby their way into positions of authority, sacred position because of politics within the church? Some people are always in the village while others are perpetually in the city and they say the Holy Ghost posted. When posting comes out, now the young ministers, they are becoming corrupt and, and, and very carnal by the day. Because they found how the elderly ones operate it. You just go like this with an envelope. While you are going, you hold a book. A book that the senior man wrote. So that he will know that you are a follower of his. And you will put your hand in one of the pages of the book. As though that's where you are at the moment. <laughs> Hi. God. When you enter, you will now say, Daddy. Because since he does not know you, there will be need to make an impression. Good morning, sir. You have been such a tremendous blessing to my life. Sometimes I wonder where I would be if I didn't stumble on your content and your message. It has blessed me in no little way. As you are doing like this, you allow the front of the book to be showing. So he sees his book. He sees that you are in. He saw your hand in close to the end of the pages. And yeah, yeah. What did you say is your name again? Before you answer, you say, sir, this is just a little token of appreciation. I wish I can do more. But from the little God has given to me, I just want to show you how, how genuinely grateful I am. Then you drop the envelope. Guess what? The next time God will speak about where they will post you to, God will send you to city. And the man that don't know the way, because they, they, every, every, every environment has a protocol. They, there's a language. He does not know the way to the city. He will, he will be there like this and be saying that God, if God wants, it's God that will do it. And he does not know that this thing is with men. Yes. 
some of the people who now sit over congregations where Satan has built his headquarter in regions where darkness has sat on a throne. They don't have the spiritual license to fight in those regions. So they come there as motivational speakers. They come as entertainers. Why the brutal man that God has cooked, the one that was prepared to combat this inferno of darkness, they, because of politics, they, they keep him somewhere. Meanwhile, he's a blazing, he's a blazing rod. That's what fits, that's what fits that place. Because the, the, the thing that controls that matter is, is not if you can see. Hmm? If you can see, it's not the method. But as it was with the patriarchs, the condition is, if you can see me. Let me explain what time. Time, time is a burden. And I don't trust next week that I would, I would have this burden to teach it. Can you give me five minutes to try to tie it up? See, if you can see me, means that if the realm that I am fraternizing with would give you clearance to also fraternize with them, then you can have what you are asking for. So he, he told him, it is not in my hand. Go and pass their test. Go and write their aptitude test. Let the realm vet you. If they allow you see me when I'm being taken down, if, if they grant you the, the clarity, the clearance to participate in my going, I'll prove to you what this guy was trying to tell him then. All the sons of the prophets, all of them, they were watching from afar. The only thing they saw was that a whirlwind, a whirlwind, took Elijah. It was only Elijah that saw chariots of fire. But the sons of the prophet said, a whirlwind took your master. But Elijah knew that inside that whirlwind, the whirlwind is the sight capacity of those who cannot see. The fact that you cannot see spiritual things, you will be seeing something actually because they saw wind. As you are writing, if, if they set an exam on earth that what took Elijah and you write wind on earth, you pass. But if the examiners are spirits, you are failed because their own sight capacity is different and it is them that will give you clearance to see. So he cried, my father, my father. That was where his answer is, the chariots. So they, they knew that, okay, he has seen it. The chariot, because it was chariots of fire that showed up. And he quickly exclaimed what he saw. I can see chariots. So Elijah dropped his mantle. <laughs> you saw. You saw it. See, forget trying to massage people's ego. If God does not lift a man, nobody can lift you. Nobody can lift you if God does not lift you. If, you know, there are people living in wickedness, living in iniquity, living in rebellion against God's law, and men of God are busy blessing them, even in this lifestyle. You are, you, you are blessed, blessed in, in fornication, the proceeds of iniquity. Somebody goes and sleep around and brought you a seed. And you say, knee down. Knee down. Unless I'm not called. I rend the heaven over you. Which heaven? The realm will not authenticate that transaction. I prophesy in the next seven days. Which seven days? Nothing will happen. Because it is subjected to the authentication of that realm. They have hated me again. You see, this, this is the problem you risk you stand when you are saying the truth. You will be hated, hated in different quarters. Do you, do, do you prefer to be saying amen, amen, and no, nothing is coming to pass?
okay, see, see now, look at me. In, imagine how many years you have different stickers that you gummed in front of your door. Just imagine the, the thing that was on that sticker. Imagine if all those things happen in your life. Go to in front of your door now, look at all the stickers from the different things they said in different years. If all those things have happened, then look at yourself carefully eh, and tell yourself the truth. If you can see me, if you can see me, I wish I had time. I wanted to show you why it was chariots. I wanted to show you why the material that is their form is fire. I wanted to show you the only criterion if our generation will receive any things from the fathers. A lot of people go around making noise. Let me tell you one truth. Dressing like a man is not a proof that his, 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 his spirit has rested upon you. It's not by dressing. Meanwhile, let me share something with you. God is not interested in duplicating men. He wants to duplicate Jesus. That is why I am not interested in any of you sounding like me. Any day anybody try it, I call you after the meeting immediately and say, those things are not, they are not important. You have your own voice, oh. From the studios of eternity, when they were wiring you, even angels were amazed. How did you lose your originality? Because you were trying to, meanwhile, if you truly took the spirit that is upon, what you will find is that it is the authority you actually inherited, not, not, not the uh, gesticulation and the mannerism. You, you too, you can be talking and doing like, like this, and, and yet demons are knocking you every day. You, you go and sew, you go and sew a suit with bishop neck, pure white, and you are living in, in, in masturbation. And demons are looking at you and say, this, this is a comedian. There are many of us you don't know yet, but demons give people nickname too. They give nicknames to people who have entertained them for long. <laughs> they have names. If, if they just start hearing your voice, hey, yeah, 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 hey, they just name my friend. They say, <laughs> no authority. Because you never showed up in the realm. You are too comfortable hiding behind men. My father in the Lord, you are, you are, you are, I'm seeing people moving around with the picture of people on their chest. Who told you that man can save you? Eh? You are wearing a man's picture. The criterion for access to authority is if you can see me. If you can see. You too, your own eye must contemplate. Access must be given to you. The realm must reach you too. You don't have any prayer life. Your altar of prayer is never alive with fire. And you are comfortable that uh, you know the church you are in. Your church cannot save you. See, I, I know I'm a member of who told there's nothing more further than the truth than these kind of things. Then they come and think that you can come and deceive God's people and say, because I said I am a member of, of this. A member of this is not salvation. It's not deliverance. The criterion to actually wield authority is if you can see you can see. Somebody goes around with a very pseudo sense of protection and security. He carry one sticker and put upon his car and write the untouchable people. Untouchable. Your church cannot defend you. In the day where Satan rises against you, it is the God that you, you know and the God that you have fraternized with. That is where you wield your authority from. Nobody. Hi. But you know, we don't want to hear these truths because it is convenient to hide and just assume that somebody is doing the work for you. Am I saying that we don't pray for the protection, the success, the preservation of our people? What did we do after Congress last, last, last week? I do that regularly. I pray for the preservation, the protection, the safety, the prosperity of all God has given to me. 
every person listening to me. But I also know that it is expedient for you to find your way with God also. It is the people that do know their God. It, it's, it's not our God, their God. It, it's your God. You find him for yourself. There are days where you are trying to call your helper and the, the, the number will not connect. There are nights where attack came. You can sense satanic and demonic presence around the house. A strong consciousness of death has permeated your being and you needed to break free from that yoke, that bondage, that attack. And your only hope was pastor. You now died pastor number. It was switch off. Does that mean that's how you die? Why didn't you find God for yourself? There are people that went to marry people because somebody told them, this is your wife. The person just looked at them like this and said, shh, shh, I, I. If you can see. Do you know what, do you know what my counsel to you should be? Confirmation. Confirmation. I, I am only supposed to confirm what you have known with your God. When I say it, it strengthens your conviction. All men must know their God. You must know God for yourself. In fact, the end time, the end time is too treacherous for you to be depending on another man's altar in order to find spiritual ventilation. You, I, Let the veil fall. Give me clearance, oh God. Let me see. Let me know the things the ancient knows. This is somebody's prayer tonight. Let me also understand the way these valiant men, let me know what they know about you. Allow me to step into that access, that clearance, that light. What did they see? What did they see? I don't want to hide behind men. I don't want to hide behind men. I don't want relevance by association. I want to stand. I want to know you. I want to be able to apprehend your bodies. Welcome to Nakazu Watch TV. And Akata Watch TV be a great team and work on life transforming messages that will bring you into realms of divine encounter with the world of truth. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. God bless you.